My baby is sick, but mother is here to nurse you. Well, now I'm a little sicker. Well, don't you worry about work today. I am ready and willing to step up and take over. Yeah, and I'll get George Michael ready for his driving test. No, 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 I, I'm gonna teach him when I get out. And no one's taking over for me at the Blute Company. Michael, this is what we talked about. I'm sure they'll do just fine without you. Well, you're wrong because we're in crisis today. They need to know that I'm in charge and I'm in con I'm peeing. Am I peeing? <gasps> I'm sorry, we gave you a little something to relax you. It may have taken the tingle out of your genitals. Uh, oh, no, you're not taking care of my son. I'm sorry to say this, but it's too late for me to do anything for your son. Let him keep talking. Because Dr. Stein here has already been assigned to his case. You're lucky, he's the best. Well, only in the county, but I'm certainly good enough to take out that appendix of yours. Appendix? I don't buy it. Could be a hernia. Or it could be your colon. I'd want to get in there and find some answers. Well, I am the best doctor in the state, but if you don't trust my decisions... No, 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 no. You're the doctor. You see, he's the authority here. We need to respect him, just like the employees of the Bluth Company need to respect me. Okay, I'm going to put you on this machine to slow down your heart rate. Hopefully not too slow, because it's already dangerously slow as it is. <laughs> Whatever you think, Doctor. That yeah. night, George Sr. Michael heard about Michael's illness. Employers are going to panic. They need to know that someone's in control. And how do we do that? Booyah! Yes. Tobias had been sent My to the office by George Tobias Sr. UK, and I'll be filling in for Michael, who is not sick. <laughs> in fact, just today, I saw a sliver of his buttocks, and they are as fresh and firm as a Georgia peach, so not to worry. <laughs> but before you all rise up and say, well, let's make this man our leader, well, I think that won't be necessary after you see this. Is this right? Michael had just come around from his appendectomy. Give me the phone. I want to call George Michael. Tell him I'm okay. He's on his way here. We passed him on the road. He was doing really well. Had his first hop on. What are you talking about? He's driving? I told Lindsay not to teach him. I was going to videotape that hop on. Hey, Dad. How are you feeling? Bad, George Michael. I just found out Lindsay's teaching you how to drive. Yeah, she's still trying to get the stairs unwedged from the emergency room overhang. I was going to teach you. You know that. Just forget everything she told oh, you and we'll start God's over. Oh, sake, Tobias is right. What? You have to control everyone's life. I don't know where you get that from. Oscar, stop licking that sore. I'm not. Well, the operation went pretty smoothly, but once I got in there, the appendix wasn't so inflamed. Doe. I knew it. Okay, well, can we get me out of here? I gotta retrain my son how to drive, and I need to stop by the office to make sure my business doesn't go to hell. And not so fast, Michael. There seems to be a bacterial infection from the operation which left an abscess in your abdominal wall. Ew. I know, it's pretty gross. It could heal on its own. But I say we go in there Dr. Stein style and cut it out. I wanna show these interns what the best doctor in Southern California can do. Well, I respect your decision. I'll check on you soon. Michael, this crazy point you're trying to make about respecting authority is absurd. And one day you're going to wake up and find out it has caused you nothing but trouble. And you are peeing again. And as the anesthesia took hold, Michael realized he was going to wake up to nothing but trouble. The FBI has pinpointed the location of escaped convict George Bluth today, thanks to a tape turned in by a rabid and disgruntled employee. The FBI has matched the design of the attic to one of Saddam Hussein's Iraqi houses, and it appears his son is with him. This is my demand. Booyah! Michael awoke from his second Morning. surgery. Did you get the abscess? Well, uh, we had a little whoopsie. Uh, see, we got the abscess, but I think we might have left some snippers in there. It's not very likely, but one of the assistants having taken them is even less likely, unless I left them in Michael. my scrubs. Good news. They think George is in Iraq. All the pressure's off him. That was on the news? I thought that I dreamt that. Oh, they're gonna think that I'm there. Oh, but not to worry. Tobias said he's handling it with the FBI and the employees have everything under control. No, that's the worst thing possible. They think the company's in trouble and that I'm in Iraq. I gotta get down there. I need your car key. And so Michael and George Michael headed to the office, right which is here, how Tobias missed him. Michael Bluth is not in Iraq. Michael, back to bed with you. You look awful.